Today, I'm gonna to show you how to crop your videos right inside Premiere Pro. Make sure to watch to the end because there are several techniques that I'm gonna cover throughout this whole video. And based on the reason you're cropping, these techniques will either speed up or slow down your workflow. Okay, so I have this video of the Brooklyn Bridge and I wanna crop it so it has black bars on the top and bottom. So already we have two things we can do. The first is to go to effects, search up crop and drag it onto your clip and the crop will show up right here. So we wanna do, I don't know, eight on top, eight on bottom, and you can see it does it automatically. We're cropped already, easy as that. Or if you're up to date in the newest version of Premiere, if you go up here to this motion bar in your effects controls panel, you'll see we already have this crop top, left, right, bottom all in here already, which works the same way as if you drag the crop effect on your clip. So again, we'll do eight, we'll do bottom eight. And same thing, you can crop it left, you can crop it right, simple as that. And while we're here, say you wanted to do a quick animation, all you have to do is keyframe top, keyframe bottom at the start of your clip, move 10 frames forward, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, and just change your crop top to eight, crop bottom to eight as well. And now you'll see we have a nice little animation. You can highlight the back keyframes to extend it so it's a bit slower. Or say if you wanted to expand from nothing to the full frame, you would change your crop at the beginning to 50 and 50 at the bottom. It's important that it's 50 because 50 is, you guessed it, half of the frame. And if it's not 50%, then it just, it looks like you're cropping from not the middle and you wanna make sure it's dead center. So 50%, that's why you do it, it's half the frame. Then you're sure that your video is being open from center. So again, one two, three, let's just do 20 frames and revert, revert. And now you see we have a nice little opening animation. It's a little fast. Again, you can highlight your back keyframes, play it, and now it looks good. Guys, before we get into the next part of the video, I just wanna remind you to subscribe. We're still a small channel, so any of that engagement really helps us continue to make these types of videos for you guys. So subscribe, it's free. Let's get back to the video. Now there's a more advanced way, and that is with masking. I love masking. It's great for transitions, great for super complex effects. However, we're gonna keep it simple and just show you how to use masks for cropping. Say we wanted to make a circular mask, and we wanted to have this guy talking above another clip like in a circular way kind of like what you see in this youtube page right now what you would do is you would click on your clip make sure it's selected go to effects controls find opacity and click this little circle ellipse tool and then you would just position it how you want on your subject just like that and it's cropped so as you can see if we bring in another clip below this you can move him around this is super effective for you know interview style when people want to talk above another clip like so so that's the circular mask you can also do this with a square so it's a square or you can do it custom and make a custom shape. Say if you wanted to keep his full body in, you just mask around his body. The closer you are to the subject, the better the mask will be. But for today's purpose, let's just do it like this. And now you have his full body cut out from the rest of the video. So you'll see when I add a clip below him, it's his full body. And as you can see, this mask is not perfect by any means. So the more time you spend putting the mask in the crop around his body as close as it can, the better it's gonna become. But likely if you wanna crop something like this, you would use the rotoscope tool rather than the mask tool. The rotoscope tool is an After Effects. It gives the ability to track a moving subject very well compared to the auto track in Premiere. So if you wanna track moving subjects and crop them out from their backgrounds, definitely use rotoscoping in After Effects. And let me just show Show you one more reason why you would use the mask crop or like the circular mask say if you wanted to blur somebody's face what you would do is you would duplicate this layer you would draw a mask around your subject and what just happened so there's two layers of the exact same thing on top of each other one this bottom layer is the full thing and this top layer because we masked it is just the circle that you see now so what you can do is go to effects, search up Gaussian blur, add it to the top clip, and as you can see, what, what's gonna happen, the circle mask will be blurred. Makes sense? So that's another reason why you might want to use the crop or the mask tool for your videos. And the last thing I'm gonna touch on are aspect ratios. Say you have a 16 by nine project landscape like so, and you want to post it on Instagram, on social media, and you want it to be vertical. What you will do is you go up to sequence all the way at the top of your computer and go to sequence settings. As you can see, it's, it's 1920 by 1080, 
1080 or 16 by 9 and you will just copy 1920 and put it where 1080 is and change it to 1080 and now you changed it press ok press ok and you can see we are at a 9 by 16 ratio and then adjust your scale and you would just change these numbers based on the aspect ratio which i will put a graph up on the screen right now for you guys to check out Thanks for watching to the end. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of our tutorials because we have a lot coming out. Check out Mirror Camp and join our online school for more.